Hi right, guys, quick one today. I'm uh, gonna fish with my girlfriend and my daughter Isla. Uh, gonna fish the tide uh, about an hour and a half up and then about an hour down and then shoot off and go and pick my boy up. So um, I just thought I'd document today. Uh, I am searching for bass. Got a good tip off that um, some very good things are starting to happen on the reef, but I'm not gonna say what in the video until I've been down and done it myself. Uh, and then you guys will find out then exactly what I'm talking about. But I'm almost 90% sure that um, we've got a decent shot of a bass at high tide today. So stay tuned for the video, guys. Uh, hopefully it's an interesting one. Um, I'll put a few bait up techniques and all the rigs and stuff I'm using in the video as well. Um, other than that, I'm just going to keep it short and sweet uh, and hopefully catch some fish. So I'll catch up with you guys in the video when I've got the rods all set up uh, and I'll let you guys know what rigs I'm using. Uh, this is Bastion Steps at high tide. So guys, the rig we're going to be using for today is very simple. Um, this is our main line here. Uh, it's the rig I use in almost all my videos. Uh, all we're going to start off with is a zip slider. Now you can use these little red ones, or you can just use weight clips. Um, as long as they can slide up and down the line with a lead on, then that's all you need. And then we're just going to thread that on. That's part number one. Just grab yourself a bead. Doesn't matter what size or what colour, just put a bead on. That's that, and then we want to swivel. I'm using 100 pound Berkeley swivel. That's a blood knot guys, and I just wet the line there, just to stop the line from burning when I pull it tight. Just pull that tight, and then all we're going to do next is take about four foot of our, uh, this is Tronix Pro Crystal Shop Leader, uh, but it can also be used for rig bodies as well. It's just going to take about four foot off that. And we're just going to tie that little, this is our um, trace, onto the swivel. With the same knot, blood knot, eight turns, lick it and then put it tight. And that's it. And now all we're going to do is take these, these are Mustad Ultra Point 60 Aberdeens. Um, they've got a really long shank on them, which is why I really like using them for what squid baits. What am I doing? Yeah. I'm showing the people on YouTube how to make a running ledger. Do you know what I run? Do you know what this is used for? Uh -huh. What is it for? Getting fish. Getting fish. Yeah. Exactly. Don't put the hook in its mouth. Put the hook in its mouth. Well done. Can I do it, Kay? Uh, I don't think you're ready to tie rigs just yet, Peggy. No. You can put the weight on there if you want. You want to put a weight on? Yeah. What should we use, a six ounce or a five ounce? Five ounce. You want to use a five ounce today? Yeah. Okay, let's have a look then. The five ounce is the green one. Let's see if you can find the green one. Where's the green one? There. Pick it up then. Go on, give it a pull, it'll come out. I can. There you go. Now we have to take these little clips put all of these up piggy look like this make it nice and spiky yeah. and then you're gonna see this yeah. you need to put that in there go on you try almost almost I'll help you a little bit there you go you did it Thanks for the help. It's okay. That one's ready now. Uh -huh. That's it guys, there's your running ledger. Like I say, all it is, little weight slider on the line, then a bead, Berkeley 100 pound swivel, bead four foot well. of 40 pound trace, well, and then a nice 6 Aberdeen. Let's well. see you guys how quick um, you can actually make a running ledger rig. I'm gonna, I'm gonna time myself now and I'm going to let you guys know exactly how long it actually takes. Let's get my knife out. Right, 
three, two, one, go. Weight clip. Bead. Swivel. Click the line. Little bit of trace. Tie trace on. Back the line. Pull that tight. Get your hook on. Car. It'd be quicker if I wasn't in a butter finger, butter finger mood today. Done. One minute and 30 seconds guys to make that rig. So um, if you're looking for a rig that you can make seriously fast, running ledger is without a doubt the fastest uh, rig to make. And I also think it's the best for catching bass. So there you go. When you're on the reef at low and you're trying to make rigs up fast, running ledger is the way to go. Um, and you can make that with a rotten bottom, probably put about 30 seconds on that time. But if you snap off and what it's a minute and a half making up a Another one, uh, it really isn't too much time and hassle to make this rig. And it's actually one of my favorite rigs. Well, it is my favorite rig. So there you go, guys. That's the running ledger made in a minute and a half. Right up time. Uh, to start with, uh, it's something I would normally not do down here, but I'd like to try it out. So we're gonna get a wrap of black lug out now. And um, we are gonna put a few worms on the hook. So probably gonna use about four, one, Two, three, four. That's about. Do not. Let's do five. Might as well. That's what we got the worms for. And then we're just going to get a bit of squid out as well. Um, if any of it's defrosted enough, I don't know yet. I'm hoping I can get at least one out. I think I can get one. Wasps are going to love me today. That'll do the job. I'm just going to get that. Fine way I'll throw my knife. And to start this bait, I'm just going to cut this squid vertically down just to open it up. Just like that, it's fine. We're not using any of that stuff to throw that away. Take the little plastic piece out, that's no good to us. Uh, and turn your squid inside out, guys. That's important. And then get your lug and just fold them one on top of the other, just like that. Trying to make the bait as even as possible, so. Look at the kind of shape you wanna go for. For me, I'm probably, I think that going to be ideal and all we're going to do is just squeeze and we're going to start our wrap right on the end just gently to start with right no bait up tools or anything like that just all by hand and then we're going to turn the worms around up and hang them and just go around the whole lot just like that Just pulling in any edges that we might have. Trying to keep it all nice and tidy. And then just pull that tight, guys. Um, we're going to cut this into two pieces because that's quite a long bait, but that's going to be good for bass. And then we're just going to stick that on like that. And I'm going to wrap that to it now.
this is where I'm going to start getting a little bit tighter with the bait elastic not ridiculously tight Trying to keep it in shape the whole time. And then we're just gonna grab one of our running ledger rigs. And how we're gonna put this bait on guys is we're just gonna go through the top, catch that worm. And I'm just gonna thread it round to start and then I'm gonna pull it out. And then we're going to go through the side once and again straight back in the other direction come out somewhere in the middle and make sure daddy doesn't touch my chalk he won't touch your chalk Thanks. and then come out from the bottom and spin it around see that hook point absolutely perfect and then just a little bit more bait elastic uh, just to hold that down. That is a bait guys, it's going to have lots and lots of scent and you can see all that oil just leaking off of that. Um, Let's we'll see if we pick anything up on that now. Let's get that lobbed out. Water's calm today, but it's still murky, so that's excellent. Uh, we want we want coloured water when we're bait fishing. It's going to give this a lob. Hi, That'll do. That's one bait in the water. Uh, for the next guy's bait, we're going to do a mackerel. Uh, on the next bait, we're going to do a mackerel squid wrap. Uh, see if we can pick anything up on that. So we'll do that now. We're doing a mackerel squid wrap now, guys. Let's get a mackerel out of the packet. Uh, we'll grab a squid as well, because we're going to need that. There you go. Just going to squeeze that into a nice shape. And I'm just going to cut a fillet off of this mackerel if we can. There you go. Just gonna get our squid now and we're just gonna bolt the squid to that mackerel fillet. What we will do though is we'll turn this inside out. that guys we'll get that baited on get that one thrown out as well it's 
there's our hook, same hook as before. Just gonna put that through once at the top. And then I'm just gonna come out at the bottom. Just like that. Focusing in our bait elastic on the eye, the shank of the hook, guys. Um, make sure it's going to hold nice. And then we're going to put quite a bit around the top. And that's done. So that's it, guys. That took us five, probably about five minutes to get both those baits done. Uh, those running ledger rigs, about two minutes a piece. The bait up about five minutes. So even without buying your rigs, um, and with also making cocktail baits, uh, you're looking at about seven or eight minutes, under 10 minutes guys, to make two new rigs, uh, get two bait ups on and get them out. So that's not bad going if you ask me. Um, it certainly is a very fast and active way of fishing. Um, it's nice to make up your rigs fresh every session because then you know uh, no matter what happens, your lines and everything are all nice and you're not going to go losing fish. I'm looking for my hand sanitizer, Piggy, so I can clean my hands, but I think I've lost it. No, there it is. Mr. So Daddy can play with you kids or help Mum. Means I haven't got fishy hands all day. The fish is still there. Yeah, the fish is still there, but it's not as bad, is it? Right, watch out because I'm casting now. Second bait's going in the water now, guys. And then it's time to relax. That's it guys, now we wait. Both lines are set pretty well. Perfect. Right, catch up with you guys in a little bit, hopefully if we can get some fish on. So you kissed a girl just cause you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Not thinking about what you made it do. She started So these are our first baits guys, just gonna pull these in there and check them uh, if I'm not snagged up. Remember a good wind down here till you're tight and then a hard fast pull up is normally enough. Bringing in a big load of kelp with this one. that but that's why here's such a good mark because we've got so much kelp um, you don't get much of it nowadays because it's all been yanked up off the bottom and all the ground's been destroyed there you go I like to clean the hooks fully ready for the next bait And I'll just clip this on here. Ready? Just make a new fresh bait up. Uh, probably going to use just a bit of mackerel on its own, but I'm going to bait this one up slightly differently. Just get the camera in the right position so you guys can see. 
just going to fillet this uh, as if I was going to eat it. So straight down the side, missing the bone. Get rid of the fin, we don't need that. And then we're going to cut vertically down like that. Getting a nice triangular bait. Do you know what, I actually quite like the white side. I feel like that looks good. So that's what I'm going to put on. Uh, and then again, I'm just going to bolt a squid to that again, guys. Need a decent sized one. So that one's good. Uh, and I'm going to cut that in half including the head just going to take with it what comes with it and then we're just going to bolt these two together actually do you know what we will use flattening that all out just see if I can find my bait elastic now there it is and then all we're going to do is just wrap this up You can see that coming together uh, as I'm pulling that elastic round. I just pop that on the hook, the same as before, out in the top, out, and then we're just going to come out from here. And we're just going to strap that up with a little bit more elastic. Now that's ready to go. Get my hands clean. Otherwise, every time you touch the rod, uh, you're going to be getting disgusting fingers. Couldn't find my cloths this morning, so I'm just using an old towel. Not an old towel, sorry, just an old item of clothing that I'm not going to wear anymore because it's too small for me. Because I'm such a beast. And again, we're just going to whisk this out there. Doesn't matter too much about distance on this mark because you do get bass nice and close in. Perfect, Let's see if we can get the next one in now. This is 80 pound braid, so, um, and a 40 pound shock leader, so we shouldn't really have any problems. I'm hoping, touch wood. I shouldn't have said anything. We'll see what breaks first. Right, see if our leader went. I'll be interested to find out if our leader's still there or if it was actually the rig that snapped it looks like um, it might actually be yeah my leader not went so we're going to go straight through braid now guys which isn't ideal certainly not my favourite not going to be my favourite way of fishing but just going to try it to try it, see if it works out okay. I'll tell you what, let's actually, see it was actually the mono part of that that went, which is strange. Uh, let's put uh, some slightly smaller hooks on uh, and see if we can pick up something small with some black lug. Not that that's a bait I would normally use on this mark, but um, it's worth giving it a go. 
all we've got now is six ounce, so six ounce it is. A bit heavy for fishing small stuff, but it'll still do the job just the same. Uh, now we're looking for That'll do, that's the two hook clip down rig that we were using uh, in the last in the last video. It's gonna do the job just fine. Weight goes on the bottom. I'm saying now guys, this is not a worm fishing mark, but um, I'm just gonna give it a go, see if we can pick up some small eels. Maybe some pout. I don't need to take that that chunk off really. I'll just thread that chunk through. That'll do the job. And then all I do is get a couple of worms on that. Might be my first time ever fishing braid straight through um, without a mono leader on. These worms should still be pretty fresh. So if you give those a bang on the floor, they're still harden up nice. Just thread these up the hook. Dad, 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 dad. Now I'm putting the worms on. Two on each hook, guys, just because I'm still fishing for bass with these. Um, bass will pick these up if there's any about and we'll also tip it off as well uh, just for a bit of extra scent I feel like we might as well so if you throw the worms on the floor they'll harden up Take this piece of mackerel, I'm just going to cut it in half.
I'm just gonna hook those through once. And then we're just gonna clip these down. That'll give us much better casting distance having that clip down. tip's going to be a bit higher on this one guys just so I can get good bite detection that's it back to the waiting game now baits have been out for about an hour hour and a half now um, we fished a lug wrap and that snagged up and lost that one uh, a mackerel and squid wrap nothing on that pulled that in swapped that over that's now out as a fresh one and then on the left one, uh, which we obviously had originally had the, the black lug wrap uh, that snagged up and we lost. We've now got uh, two at Clip Down Rig with some black lug uh, tipped off with some squid. See if we can pick up some small, maybe some little silver eels, uh, any pout and stuff like that. Just a little bit of searching, searching around on the ground, seeing what's about. Will give me an idea on what's, what else is here. So I'm just going to fish for about another hour, then I'm going to pack up and shoot off home because I've got to pick my boy up from school. Hopefully, yeah, slightly different approach with these small hooks. Now guys, what we're going to do instead is we're going to use a mackerel fillet on each one and see if that brings anything. And we're going to cut this bloody bit of the guts out of the mackerel also and we're going to use that because that is a good piece of bait. I'm going to cut that into two strips, just like that. Gonna get our bait elastic and head over now. Here we are. All I'm going to do with this is take the hook. Don't worry too much about this because we are going to be strapping it on. Just put it through the top once and then come out. And I do this with all my baits, guys, because it's the easiest way uh, universal way to bait up pretty much anything and then we're going to get this bloody bit we'll put the bloody bit on the top one actually a little bit of elastic and we're just going to strap that down just like that on that one and then the same on this one we're going to go through the top Just straighten this hook out a little bit. That'll do. So a little bit of bait elastic, we're gonna get this guts now. Put that on the bottom. And we're just gonna wrap that up. That's that guys. Just cast that out now. See if we can pick anything up on those uh, mackerel baits now. Did just get snagged up and obviously because I'm using the 80 pound line, uh, the weight just snapped but the rig body and the main line was fine. So cast this out now. 
guys i've literally left it like seriously last minute um so I do have to pack up and go home now i am going to be down here peeler in hopefully tonight with curtis uh, seeing if we can get some decent peeler bait to use over the next couple of days um, and obviously those results will also show us uh, if the bass are here or not yet if there's lots of crabs peeling uh, that's going to let us know that there's some bass around now that was slack and i'm pretty sure i saw a bite on that Sure, nothing on that. Okay. I think we might have a crab. Uh, just a nice big chunk of seaweed. Well, that's today, uh, and we lost our bottom hook because uh, that was snagged up. Uh, that's eighty pound braid for you. Uh, other things are going to snap before that does so guys that's it for today's video um i've got to go and pick my boy up now thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed it if you have uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it and um also remember to turn notifications on because when you do that every time i upload a video uh, you'll get a little notification to your phone or whatever you've used to sign into youtube with and that will let you know that there's a fresh upload um, and my videos are always uploaded very close to the date of recording so if i was to catch a bass here today um i'd let you guys know that i've caught a bass and you can come down pretty much the next day or within a couple of days um fish the same up with the same baits and hopefully get the same results uh, that's the aim of the channel guys thanks for watching until next time